Declan Rice or Kobe Minu is better? That question has caused intense debate over the past few days and culminated when Minu was called up to the England squad to participate in the upcoming FIFA Day match, while previously the roster was being trained. The Southgate officer announced that Mainu was not named. Rice represents the glamour and undying gunner spirit and is a witness to the revival of a dynasty. And Mainu is like the seed of hope for the Red Devils for the revival of Manchester United. In terms of performance, both are in high form and midfielders in form in the EPL at the moment, but if we evaluate overall to see who is better, there are still many factors to consider. Before evaluating the strong relationship between Kobe Mainu and Declan Rice, we need to understand why Mainu is placed on the scale. Considered a comparison with Arsenal's 100 million contract. Clearly, the case of young British talent symbolizes rapid progress in football. Man United's homegrown player has consistently proven his ability, and it is no exaggeration to say that Mainu is what Ten Hag is looking for. Manchester United spent much of Eric Ten Hag's first summer trying to sign Frankie de Jong from Barcelona. The coach is nurturing the midfielder's development at Ajax and sees him as key to implementing the style of play he wants MU to implement. De Jong's ability to receive the ball from the defense and quickly attack through pressure with composure has made Ten Hag very desirable. United were willing to pay Barcelona up to 85 million euros or 93 million US dollars to get him and when they learned De Jong was not interested in leaving Catalan for Manchester, they continued to try to convince him for more than one month. They finally gave up at the end of August and signed Casemiro, a player of course great but with a different style than De Jong. Before Casemiro's worrying decline in form this season, he had lifted United's competitive spirit and brought more strength and resilience to the midfield. But their playing style is still the same as before. They still lack someone like Frankie de Jong to be able to lead the transition, becoming a team that wants to play flexibly. But last summer they decided not to buy a mobile defensive midfielder like the Dutchman because they knew they had a gem in their hands. Ladies and gentlemen, a young boy named Kobe Manu has had the opportunity to play football for the first team and is ready for more. After recovering from a strange ankle injury that delayed his progress for only four months and great performances followed, talent does not wait for age. Mainu quickly became an irreplaceable pillar in Manchester's midfield. In the recent encounter with Liverpool, the Red Devils' sweet victory witnessed Mainu's brilliant form. 80 minutes on the field, Mainu almost danced in the middle of the Red Devils' powerful midfield, and when he left the field, Jurgen Klopp also applauded the young talent. Mainu was impressed with his ability to escape pressing and make breakthroughs, thereby helping the Red Devils compete fairly with their higher-rated opponents. Statistics show that the 18-year-old midfielder successfully performed 100% of dribbles and tackles. He won 75% of duels, made two interceptions, created a clear scoring opportunity, and was scored 7.4 points by SofaScore. Mainu's impressive performance in the English Derby seems to have changed Coach Southgate's mind. Previously, the captain of the Three Lions said he highly appreciated Mainu's talent, but according to Coach Southgate, this young star needs to accumulate more experience before being given the opportunity to play in the national team. But in the end, Southgate still decided to summon additional Mainu. However, if you are considering comparing with a name like Declan Rice, perhaps it is not the right time. Because Mainu, after all, only shined for a short period this season, while Declan Rice has asserted himself for a long time before that. In terms of comprehensiveness, Declan Rice shows that he is better than Mainu. The Gunners midfielder is not only an effective clearing machine in the midfield, but also participates in attacks and often scores important goals. Rice's ideal body shape creates the wonderful steel that Arsenal has been searching for for a long time. Rice can be flexible when needed, but there are times when he truly becomes a warrior in the midfield. While Mainu looks even thinner, what the Man United midfielder shows is still not as comprehensive as Rice. Mainu brings positive energy to the Red Devils midfield and is a lever for attacks, but he is not the most perfect support like Rice is for Arsenal. At the time of Declan Rice's debut, Arsenal's management and fans were hoping for a comprehensive and classy player in midfield. After just a few months, they have seen more from the 23-year-old midfielder. 
The former Weston player showed strength, character, the ability to read the game, and know how to seize decisive moments. Rice adapted quickly and achieved much higher efficiency than expected. Even many Arsenal fans want to pay another 100 million for West Ham in some funny way. A good start at the team largely comes from Rice's enthusiasm and willingness to improve himself. Despite the high transfer fee, the 1999 midfielder always remained humble and constantly tried his best in every match. The three Lions player knows he has a lot to learn, especially about Arteta's system. Then, through the training process, Rise really reached the Gunners' expectations. In addition, the experience factor is still too important for a core position in the midfield. Declan Rice is superior to Mainu in terms of experience and contact. Rice is the captain of Westham. He was crowned in the UEFA Conference League and joined the England team in major arenas such as the Euro or World Cup. The experience is obviously much greater than Mino. When he arrived at Arsenal, it didn't take long for Rice to shake off the pressure of 100 million pounds and shine brightly in his first season. He even became a true spiritual leader whenever the home team was in danger. The Gunners are still standing strong as they are now in the fierce championship race against Liverpool and Manchester City, largely thanks to the bravery and class difference that Rice brings. Off the field, Rice is also a beloved teammate thanks to his openness and outgoing nature. Besides, the English midfielder has very good relationships with the training staff, service staff, and even the chefs. Those are the factors that form Declan Rice rich in leadership qualities. While Mainu is basically still a rising star, he is a young star, he still cannot fight alone like Declan Rice and still needs support from his seniors. That's when we haven't even discussed the leadership qualities that are still lacking in this young star. Putting it on the scale in terms of statistics, Mainu has quite good statistics. The ball passing accuracy rate reaches 85% in the Premier League with 0.5 key passes per match, reaching 46 average touches. Jar. While on defense, Mainu provides Man United with nearly two accurate tackles on average, as well as 3.3 ball recoveries per match. Compared to Rice, Rice's passing accuracy rate is up to 91%, owns an average of one key pass per match, and averages 78 touches of the ball. Similar to Mainu, Rice averages two tackles per match, but is better at recovering the ball with a rating of 4.8. Obviously, comparing Mainu and Rice at the present time is still relatively lame. Rice has made a name for himself, while Mainu still needs more time to test himself to see if he can escape the shell of a prodigy to suddenly become a big star, a true high-class player in the future. Hybrid or not, by the time Mainu becomes a name with Declan Rice's status, perhaps we will put them on the table again. At that time, it is not too late to compare, and we also note that all comparisons in this world, even in the future, will still be relative. However, the comparison is competitive, and we hope that going forward, we will see a midfield that is truly classy and really brings strength to the England team. Thank you all for your attention and following. Goodbye, and see you again in the next videos.